Interesting People of Newfoundland by John Ashbery. Newfoundland is, or was, full of interesting people. Like Larry, who would make a fool of himself on street corners for a nickel. There was the Russian who called himself the Grand Duke, and who was said to be a real duke from somewhere, and the woman who frequently accompanied him on his rounds. Doc Hanks, the Sawbones, was a real good surgeon when he wasn't completely drunk, which was most of the time. When only half drunk, he could perform decent cranial surgery. There was a blind man who never said anything but produced spectral sounds on a musical saw. There was Walsh's with its fancy grocery department. What a treat when mother or father would take us down there skidding over slippery snow and ice to be rewarded with a rare fig from somewhere. They had teas from every country you could imagine and hard little cakes from Scotland, rare sherries and Madeiras to reward the aunts and uncles who came dancing. On summer evenings in the eternal light, it was a joy just to be there and think. We took long rides into the countryside, but were always stopped by some bog or other. Then it was time to return home, which was okay with everybody, each of them having discovered he or she could use a little shut-eye. In short, there was a higher per capita percentage of interesting people there than almost anywhere on earth. But the population was small, which meant not too many interesting people. But for all that, we loved each other and had interesting times picking each other's brain and drawing nets on the wooden docks. Always some more of us would come along. It is in the place in the world in complete beauty, as none can gain see, I declare, and strong frontiers to collide with. Worship of the Chthonic powers may well happen there, but is seldom in evidence. We loved that too as we were a part of all that happened there, the evil and the good and all the shades in between, happy to pipe up at roll call or compete in the spelling bees. It was too much of a good thing, but at least it's over now. They're making a pageant out of it, one of them told me. It's coming to a theater near you. <laughs>